Hello and welcome. This is Ajinkya. Uh, I have been working on my Golang game development and uh, this is just my uh, first ever game. This is of course not a professional game but uh, this is my development log video and uh, I'm just going to uh, show the first uh, few things of the game then I'll speak further. Alright, so what you saw was the introduction storyboard and uh, which is all which is already uh, can be seen over here and uh, so introduction is like an automatic uh, animations which I have already added uh, into my storyboard and I have another file over here called intro I'll just show you how all these animations happened I'll just use shift shift Okay, so you can see uh, the initially uh, I had shown a white screen. I don't know uh, for some reason I called it black screen. Um, then I was playing a background raindrop music. Then I showed you the title in the introduction. Then I killed that state and then I loaded the player map and so on. So this is like an uh, events stream of events and as you can see i am using array of interface over here for this purpose i specifically use a reflect conversion which is available in golang and all these events they run through they get passed to this storyboard i'm creating a stack and everything happens okay all right so moving ahead uh, now i'm in this jail room i already know that i have to escape from this room uh, as you saw, the player uh, said said some conversation. It's, it was like a uh, text message over his head. I already know that you have to escape and I know how, where is the clue. So the interaction key is the spacebar. Okay, wall here is crumbling, push it. Alright. I am interacting with spacebar and I am choosing the options with the arrow keys. I am also moving around with space uh, with the arrow keys. Now you can see uh, I know the another clue is hidden inside the skeleton. I am not walk over it. It's cause it has a collision. But as soon as I interact with him, and I, as soon as I pick the clue, it gets added to my inventory. Now I am able to walk on the skeleton cause I've removed the uh, collision from it and uh, if I cross this uh, the NPC the non-playing character comes and he's going to talk with me now all right let's see I'm going to interact with him with the space bar you are another black blood aren't you okay if I keep pressing space he keeps uh, giving me things okay the last this message is the clue okay so uh, I know that I have to escape and he's telling me that I have to open the drain all right if I hit the spacebar again the conversation keeps going on all right it's like a forever loop ending loop for him it's not a loop actually uh, it just every time I hit a space I'm swapping the old message okay so if I interact with the drain and I try to open it it opens and if I hit and if it hit the space bar again okay there is this animation again which I am again uh, using the storyboard I don't have good amount of music so I have not added anything all right so these are the two bots they're interacting with each other and this is a filter which I added using C++ uh, DirectX effects. Uh, C++ effects can be added directly into Golang. I can show it to you over here. I just have to go to the... Okay, again my shortcuts are not working. 
storyboard events and these are all the events uh, which I was running through and this is that uh, filter this is directly uh, a C++ code loaded into Golang that's the awesome thing yes okay I'll play further okay now I've added loaded a different map uh, and I'm going to interact further all right he's moving I know there is a chest I'm going to open that all right so okay by the way I was talking about the inventory and so soon come to that uh, let's recruit these two two guys into our team so Mrignani has joined us Shashank has joined us and I can press the left alt on my keyboard I can see the party so this is my team uh, ignore the XP bar on the right hand side so this right hand side section uh, displays the current XP of the uh, player and it also sh kind of a reflection uh, when are you are going to get leveled up this is the time in seconds uh, this is simple I just have to convert it into the current time GP stands for gold points and items these are the items which I just collected if I hit space I can go to that it gives me information about them there are a few icons next to them okay I can swap everything over here even the icons uh, if I hit escape I can go to the key items this is the old bone which we collected uh, in the jail map okay and now it's time for equipment I can equip various uh, items over here uh, let's choose Shashank okay let's see what happens so since Shashank is a thief there is no suitable uh, weapons or armor available to him but he, he can of course uh, equip the swift boots which is an accessory which can be uh, equipped by any character okay it also shows uh, after equipment the speed has increased for the character and if I go to Chandragupta you can see he has available this two he has available this one weapon bone blade which is going to increase his attack by five armor he has two available options but I'm specifically going to choose the bone armor uh, cause dragon's clock is uh, also available to mage okay and so in this case Mrignani is our mage and you can see armor is available to Mrignani all right so we have our team ready over here let's get into a fight uh, so there is this arena over here uh, I'm not going to go through all the fights but I'll just show you one of the fights okay so there is one more fourth option which is magic which can be unlocked once you level up and which is only available to a mage okay let's attack so currently it's thieves chance and I'm going to attack since his speed has increased he will get one additional attack all right one more time attack now his attack is added to the Q the now it's turn for Chandragupta that attack also will get added to the Q and that was the first attack now Mrignani's attack is getting queued up All right. Yes, I also have the random factor, which uh, I have declared it. I'll show you in the code. By the way, I'm soon going to start with a series of how I created this game, step by step, Golang game development. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I'm quickly going to finish the game. I just, I'm just going to hit attack, attack, attack. Let's die. All right, we won. All right, so this is the XP screen. I, if I hit the space, I can skip the animation. And uh, so we, so far, team has found so much amount of gold, and we have also found the heal potion. So heal potion is different from revive. All right. So, so far we have unlocked only round two and there are four more rounds remaining. I'm going to escape and uh, I'm just going to show you another uh, map 
which is actually the start of the quest. So I'm going to use this so far knowledge into the quest. Uh, also, I'm going to implement uh, a new feature, save, which saves the progress. And if I hit go to town, I'm going to go to the new town. Uh, this is the uh, town map. Uh, there are no interactions over here. It's just a static map. Uh, I drew this using the tiled editor. All right. The town is a bit huge. And I can go up. All right. So I'm just going to stop with the demo over here. But uh, the thing which I, I would like to tell you is uh, uh, this code, everything I'm going to share soon. I'm going to start a series uh, how to create game development in Golang. So stay tuned. And uh, I'll just show you the tile editor, which I have it over here. So this is the map which I drew for the town map. And there's other hidden section which will be loaded uh, when you interact with any of the houses. So if you try to go inside a house, you will be shown this section. So that's it from this video. And uh, hope you subscribe and like my videos. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.